to the Biodiversity Atlas Austria. And we are a little bit in advance, so don't hesitate to ask questions. Is he online? Yeah, hello. Do you hear me? Hello? Yes. Oh, yes, we hear you. Okay, hello. <laughs> hello, welcome. Your presentation. Yes, thank you. Okay, hello. My name is Diego Abau. I'm the developer of the uh, Austrian node of the Biodiversity Atlas Austria. Uh, may I introduce our topic for this session is uh, integration of ecosystem services and habitats into the Biodiversity Atlas Austria. Um, the project is a cooperation of the University of Continuing Ed for Continuing Education, the Government of Lower Austria, the Umweltbundesamt and Coop Natura. Our node exists since 2017. Um, next slide, please. Uh, Ecosystem services and habitats will be integrated into our live service and will be available at the beginning of 2024. Currently, we are developing the integration of the services on a development server. Uh, as shown, you can see our main page and two access links to our portal. This is special portal. Also, the main page will have uh, an integration of, of the link to the to the services. Um, please, the next slide. Um, I begin with the habitat types. We use shape files uh, of the team of Cope Natura visualizing habitats on a map. The habitats include a species list that is linked to the Atlas data resources. Um, this is the collector in, in the Atlas. Uh, each project has a filtered list of habitats appearing in the specific project. You can click on each polygon area to get information about the exact type of habitat, or you can choose from the list of habitat types and the area will be highlighted, including an on-click pop-up, where you get um, the, the species list, so the data resources, um, depending to the habitat type and uh, you, we can also transform the polygon data of a shapefile into VKT polygon and query the atlas species occurrence in that area. Uh, next slide please. Yes, and the second tool is the ecosystem services. Um, for the ecosystem tool, we use three normed groups of services. Uh, the regulating service, like uh, pollination potential, supplying category, like wood growth and cultural, like uh, home gardens type of services. Um, yes, let me show you the next slide, the tool itself. Um, for the ecosystem services, we use rasterized layer data. Each of the rasterized cells has the size of one square kilometer. So you can put multiple markers into the layer and query the service on the spot. Um, you can choose out of a list of services and gather information via a pop-up containing the absolute values, um, the dimensions, a classified pictogram view, for comparison from 0 to 5. Um, yeah, each layer has a color style legend suitable to the specific service shown on the map. So you, you can, you can uh, click on the ecosystem service and you can click the, the L button and you get the legend out of the geo server and you can use uh, you can you can um, 
set multiple markers uh, on the spot. Uh, you have absolute values and classified values with pictograms and uh, absolute values with the dimension, like here in 1000 uh, uh, meters per cubic or on pollination potential, you have, you have no specific value. It always depends on the indicators that were used by the Umweltbundesamt. Um, so the next slide would be, um, yeah, we, we found out that to visualize the rasterized layers, uh, it's not always it's not always easy to see the background of the map. So you can you can also um, add multiple layers of ecosystem services. So we tried to figure out, uh, or I tried to figure out what how how can I see more of the region we are in, and I added uh, mini maps uh, with a satellite overview. Uh, of the specific region, and um, you can you can also input the geo coordinates manually in their input fields of the mini, in, in the input fields of the mini maps, and uh, each marker represents the the the, the, uh, the 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 marker represents the region of the mini map. So if you drag the marker somewhere else. The minimap will snap on the rasterized layer cell with the with the with the uh, on, on the on the region. Um, we have also the you see the blue icons uh, with the information symbol. There will be an information description provided by the Umweltbundesamt for each ecosystem Leistung, also ecosystem service. And um, for the last slide, um, I also developed a, a path, a connected path tool where you see the route uh, between the markers. You can see there the, the plot, the graph. Uh, we added the minimaps for each marker and, and uh, our last feature to explain is possible to connect it markers to gain an overview of the route between the markers as a graph diagram. The plot shows the total distance of the route and the absolute values or classes for the crossed cells on it. Yes, um, the marker positions are in, in the graph are highlighted. Where, where a marker is, there is uh, the color of the, of the ecosystem service of its category. Um, Yes, this, this this is the tool at the moment. We are in developing mode, and we we finish uh, and integrate into the Life Atlas on the beginning of two thousand and twenty four. Um, yes, thank you. Thanks Dor, for your presentation. Now let's go to the room and see if there are any questions. No questions in the room. Um, look like there is nothing online as well. Okay. All right. If no so, questions, Dor, can you stay on the line for later for the panel discussion? Absolutely. And we'll just continue. Absolutely.